Alright, hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy, back at it again with another Minecraft video, and welcome to day 243 of still not being at Stanford. Honestly, today we're kinda just hanging out. I don't really have all that much planned for today. You know, it is still spring quarter, but since I am on a flex quarter this quarter, that means that I'm only taking one class, which is Japanese. And besides that, I don't really do all that much day to day. You know, there are quite a few things that I've been meaning to do for quite some time, but this quarter, I've just been pretty lazy. But I figure if I just try filming my day that I'm bound to be more productive than usual and you know, maybe something exciting will happen today, but we will see. For now, I have my one class to go to, taking a test today. I also have a little bit of homework to do, but after that, we're gonna see if anything exciting happens today. Cue the time lapse. If you guys look in the background, you can see these two umbrella lights I have set up. I usually use them when I'm filming videos at night because it is dark at night. And I put these up the other day because I told myself that if I already have my filming equipment set up, that it would somehow motivate me to want to make more videos. It hasn't worked yet, but you know what they say, never say never. I did just finish my only class for the day and it's only like two o'clock so I have the whole day ahead of me to get a lot of things done. And so since I have nothing else to do for the day and I already have some of my filming equipment set up, can you guys take a guess for what we're going to be doing today? I'll give you a second. If you answered not filming, you'd be right. The weather's really nice out today and it'd be a shame to just stay inside all day, so let's go outside. is hard. I've been practicing a little bit since the last video and as you might have been able to tell I've been able to level up from my driveway to the streets of my neighborhood which honestly isn't that big of a jump but this is progress. I think I've been getting pretty comfortable with just riding the board in general and especially when it comes to going down slopes that's that's still kind of kind of scary not gonna lie but you know, this is progress, taking baby steps one step at a time towards our goals. And sooner or later, I'm going to be able to do some pretty cool tricks on the longboard. As you guys might have been able to see from the previous clip, I was trying to figure out how to do some tricks on the longboard, doing those fancy skateboard tricks, but no luck just yet. But we're going to get there. We're going to get there. My goal is to get to a point where I can ride this pretty comfortably and also do some pretty nice tricks, you know, for when I go to campus. If I go to campus, you know, as of recording this, I should be on campus in around a month from now. Um, not sure if that's going to pan out, but hopefully it will. 
anyways i'm kind of tired i've been outside for like probably like an hour or two and i am very tired so let's go home all right guys welcome back to my room just got back from a shower and then i changed and since it's already dark out and I don't have anything else to do for the rest of the day, I figured now would be a great time to film some videos. All that stuff over there is equipment that I use for filming for the second channel. I guess now is a great time for me to plug the second channel again. So if you haven't already checked it out, I'd really appreciate it if you guys would check out the second channel. So I guess I'll walk you guys through a bit of my filming process with setting all the equipment and stuff up. So let's get to it. All right, so in terms of my filming setup for the second channel, I have these two umbrella lights over here because it does get pretty dark since I usually only film at night. And then I have this teleprompter with an iPad so I can read off a script. Got my camera back there inside the teleprompter back there. You can see me in the viewfinder. And then we have this microphone up top and really, that's about it. It's a pretty simple setup overall. Okay, so I just wrapped up filming for that video for the second channel. Once again, if you're interested in college application stuff, high school stuff, college stuff, productivity stuff, feel free to check out the second channel. I'll have it linked here somewhere where my hands are waving. And so usually when I finish filming a video for Logix Room, I head straight to editing because I run on a very tight schedule in terms of filming and editing and uploading. Mostly because I always push off the work until the last possible minute. But today we're gonna save editing for another time because it is getting pretty late and I still have one more thing that I need to do before the day is done. So let's get to it. All right, so I got a package in the mail today that I'm very excited for. I've been waiting for this for quite some time. Any guesses for what it could be? Maybe you guys can see a little bit of the box. Any guesses? Any guesses? I'll, I'll, I'll just open it, I'll show you guys. Can you guys see the box? Probably not. All right, so in the mail today, I received an ultra wide monitor. Very exciting stuff. So let's open it. We got some cables. Got some styrofoam. And what is this? I think this is the the thingy thing that goes in the in the thing where you put the thing in. You know? Oh boy. Oh man, I'm kind of scared to take this out. Ooh. You guys see how big this is? It's definitely gonna take me a very long time to figure out how to put this together. So, let's just cut to it being done. All right, I somehow managed to lug the monitor back to my room. Are you guys ready for the grand reveal? Ready, ready? Ta-da! Yeah, it's pretty big. A lot bigger than I thought it would be. Wow. But yeah, I need to figure out how to hook it up with the wires and stuff. And also turn it back around because I can't really use the monitor while it's facing the wall like that. So let me figure that out. Ooh, it made a sound. Is that good? Oh, it turned on. 
I guess I'll turn this around. Uh, this is heavy and also scary. Please don't break. All right, you guys can see. Look at this. Beautiful. Uh, please don't fall over. I think that looks pretty good. Got some HDMI cables. All right, so after some finagling, here is the current setup. Got the ultra wide monitor up here. Got my MacBook down here. Got the usual stuff over here. Overall, I think it looks pretty nice. So I decided to get an ultra wide monitor because I think it'll be really helpful for when I'm editing videos because with all this extra screen real estate, I think that'll really help with my video editing productivity. So I'm really excited to see what I can cook up now that I have a super big monitor. There are a couple of other things that I was also thinking about picking up for my desk setup, but with my monitor here, I'm pretty satisfied with how things are. So might pick up some more things, might not, who knows? But I am planning on doing a desk setup video at some point in the near future before I head off to campus if I head off to campus. So if you guys are interested in a desk setup video, be sure to leave a comment down below. And with that, I think I'm gonna call it a night. You know, I still have some work that I didn't get around to doing today, but that's for future Lordric to worry about. I had a pretty productive day overall, I would say. And yeah, I'm glad you guys were able to come along for the ride. So if you enjoyed, I'd really appreciate it if you guys could hit that like button, subscribe to join the Lordric Valsote family. I don't know what to call it. If you guys have any ideas, leave them in the comments below. But yeah, it is very late and I should be heading to bed. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.